IDFI F210 4S tattoo battery. Now if this explodes, it's Sebi's fault because he said it was safe and he knows what he's doing, so <laughs> it's on you Sebi. Okay. The hover position is now lovely and low. 35% maybe. Actually flies a little bit better on for us. <laughs> bit of a tiny bit of warmth out of the back motors, but n barely. In the front, not really anything. I mean, it's not stone cold like they were on the 3S, but yeah, there's 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 nothing, nothing to worry about there. Certainly not in that little stretch. So that's flying pretty awesome. Check for any more heat. I love the battery CG. For a, a H quad it feels lovely for, for Acro, but it's still not quite quite so delicious as an X quad. 
in terms of the layout, I, I really like everything. I mean, it's, it's a little bit tricky to get wires and balance connectors out of the out of the props. And but it's a small frame, so I, with that laid there, I can't really ask too much more. I think I'd like to see this actually vertically mounted there, so it wasn't on a on a wire. It's actually mounted on a PDB there. And there's there's <laughs> there's no heat out of those motors. I mean, I can feel they're not stone cold, like I said before, but nothing to worry about at all there. So I will definitely be running this one on 4S. It's pretty respectable on 3S, but this, yeah, we're running this on 4S. These, these what look like Emax motors, can certainly take it. Now the antenna mounting I'm not particularly fond of. It's better than nothing. It's just hanging free, but it's just got a cable tie holding in the connector in there. So I put a second one on there on the an antenna so it should be at least be able to take a little bit of punishment. It's got a hole there so you could put a little pigtail in and mount something straight up. In terms of camera tilt you can whack it right to the top and you don't see any frame which is kind of hard to believe really since it's so shadowed but I wasn't seeing anything. And you need it at least 35, 40 degrees to be able to fly fast and not and low. But yeah, I didn't expect DJI SC ESCs to really feel that great in flight, but this does. It feels feels pretty nice. I'm not sure whether I've enabled one shot yet, but again, Sebi says that one's safe to enable, even on DJI ESCs, which baffles me a little bit. But a lot of stuff does in this hobby. Well, I'm not exactly sure what happened there, apart from it dropping out of the sky. Now this battery's had a knock and seen better days, but the voltages are pretty stable. I'm going to put the graphene on, play it safe. Chunk. Oh, she's a fatty. The ball snapped that plastic pin out of there, but it's just friction fitted back on for now, it's not damaged. Uh, a few more little dings in, <laughs> in these poor little red feet. <laughs> They're looking pretty hacked up down there, bless. Stop too soon. <laughs> this little guy's just beeping. I mean, I certainly slammed it into the ground hard a few times. I've tried several rebinds now, so fair motor calibration when I get home, but I reckon that one's dead. Debbie. Debbie.